thank you, thank you. Well, thank you. Emerald Lagasse here. Welcome to Emerald Live. I can't tell you how excited I am about tonight's show. Oh. You see, you know, when I get to cook for my friends, I get inspired. But when my friends want to cook with me, well, that's when the fun really begins. And tonight is sure to be one of those nights because the friend coming to cook with me tonight happens to be an expert in Asian cuisine. So I better get pretty inspired, let me tell you that. <laughs> Speaking about experts, give it up for Doc Gibbs and the Emerald Live Band. <laughs> Gonna be a dandy tonight, let oh, me tell yeah. you. Oh, the best. oh I'm feeling show. inspiration tonight. It's Asian inspiration right here on Emerald Live. Good evening, good evening. Oh, boy, am I really inspired here. First of all, let me just say before I introduce my special guest, um, he and I, I think we really don't know what we're cooking yet. <laughs> so bear with us. Uh, what we sort of decided was that uh, under here and under here, there would be proteins, and then he and I would just have a battle. My guest has been instrumental in bringing authentic Asian cuisine into home kitchens everywhere. He's the only guy I know who's done more cooking shows than me. <laughs> He's written more books, done more cooking shows than I can count. But I can tell you this, I can count on his inspiration in the kitchen. He's got a brand new book called Quick and Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, my good buddy, Chef Martin Yen, is in the house. Hey, buddy. Hello. So glad. I am delighted to have you once again. How have you been? Hi, I've been my, You know, I just came back. I just came back from Asia. Yes. 20 hours flight just to, to be, be here. I know. part of this show. It's really true. He just came back from Asia, 20 hour flight, and uh, I woke up this morning, and here he is on Emerald Live. All right, that's saying something right there. What do you think we got? I have no idea. All right. Three, two, one. What the heck? I got beef. I got beef, too, except mine is smaller than yours. <laughs> what the heck? That's well, not fair. All right. What are you going to do with yours? I have no idea. How about you? Hmm. Hmm. I see a lot of ingredients. You know, all these ingredients. Yeah. Have my, whatever you want. My mother's favorite. All right. When I was growing up, this is what I had. And I have none of those on my side. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. No, no, this is all fair stuff here, Martin. Who did that? <laughs> oh, who did that? You know what? what this happened? is what I did this morning for powder, extra powder. It's good for you. Right there? That's what, yes. Okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know oh, where you're I going with that, but anyhow. <laughs> is you, are you using a walk or is this for me? Uh, I'm going to walk. I'm going to use a small pen or walk. It doesn't matter. We're okay. going to have a walk coming up. I'm going to use the grill. How's I'm that? Use I'm grill. safe over here. Okay. I'm going to turn that thing on. All right, I got a flank steak. Uh, you know, fajitas, flank steak. Uh, normally, Chinese restaurants use flank steak. Uh, this do? is tri tip. You have tri tip? I tri tip. All right. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show everybody how I normally cut the um, the stick. Okay. Uh, normally, uh, this technique I learned from Mac Julia called a kaput technique. Kaput. <laughs> you cut. She showed you that. Oh yeah. No no. You know look at when you cut a stick to your knife, you cut again. It continues to stick to your knife. You continue to cut. Ah, uh, once again, it stick to your knife. Sooner or later you have a gigantic beef ball. Okay. I see. So what you do is. It's pretty thin. You cut, and you. Ah! Ah! And you cut, put, cut, put, and cut, put. 
the idea of kaput is. Kaput. The idea of kaput Kapow. is. Kapow. <laughs> you know what? This is our. <laughs> this is yours. Huh? Oh, no. hey. 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 You know. You know what? It's gonna be one of those nights, mom. <laughs> No, this is the way. <laughs> this is the way that five thousand years ago, how Chinese tenderized the beef. <laughs> All right, so it's tender now. Yeah, the whole idea is when you cut, when you put, you actually tenderize each put. Put you tenderize it. Cut and uh, you put, but you don't have time. You have two cuts in one put. Cut, cut, put. You're gonna have cut, cut. Put, All right. And cut, put, cut, cut, put. That means you can have cut, put, and cut, cut, put. All a lot of cut and no put. Cut, 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 and absolutely no put. It doesn't matter. You sure? And then you transfer all these cuts in one put. Ha! Ha! All right, look, I'm going to take my flank steak here, and yeah. I'm just going to put it on the grill. Oh, that's easy. That all is right. easy. He's like, the, the I'm whole thing. I'm going to put it later. You know what? First, in, I'm going to cook it. In America, you serve about maybe two or three people. In China, you serve the entire village with this. I just came you, back from China. You just you cut it so thin. Okay. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to marinate this, okay, All with right. uh, chopsticks. Cut and marinate this with a tiny bit of soy sauce. Okay. Now, uh, this is good suntan lotion, too. Oh, that stuff? Yes. I'm going to take a little bit of oil, Mom. Tiny bit of cornstarch to help the seal in the juice. Marinate. Oh, beautiful. Marinate. I'm going to start stir-frying some vegetables. Okay. Is that all right with you? You know what? This you is your kitchen. You showed me how to stir-fry like this. This is your kitchen. You can do anything you want. I know that. But look, you showed me how to stir-fry like this, so I'm going to start some stir-fried vegetables. We're going to have Yep. Just like that. All right, while we're stir-frying some vegetables, uh, hey, we're going to figure out what we're going to do here. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. Doc <laughs> in. My good buddy in the house, Chef Martin Yan. Yes, indeed. Yan can. Yes. You can. Yan cannot. Don't even try. That's right. He's got a brand new book out, quick and easy. Man. But here's the great thing, folks. A lot of great recipes in here. Everybody in the studio audience has one in front of you, and you get to take it home. Free. Yeah. All right. You know what? I even agree to sign every single copy of this book. You are? That's very nice of you, yes. Martin. Thank you so much. All right, so now the stir fry, I'm adding You're some stir frying the shiitake, shiitake mushrooms. mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are actually very healthy. Yes. A Chinese called dong gu. Everybody repeat after me. Dong. 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 Gu. Gu. Dong gu. Dong gu. Shiitake mushroom in Chinese. There you go. I'm sauteing some um, snow pea, cabbage, and watercress. Okay. And also, I'm going to do a little bell pepper. I'm going to julienne this, and then remove the seed from the bell pepper. I'm going to add so some... Like... Mm, smells, smells good. Great. Smells great. All right, I got a little shiitake mushrooms. I put a tiny bit of and uh, ginger. Actually, mm -hmm. I would love to have. You like garlic? Love garlic. You like garlic? Let's. I'm gonna put some right there. I'm gonna. This I remove that and I miss the garlic. And I, I miss the garlic and you love garlic. I give you garlic. Thank you. Thank you. you I know? just added some garlic and ginger in here too. And then also I'm gonna have some ginger. Some ginger. This is how I put ginger. Because use a spoon that's to a peel very, my ginger. That's a quick way of peeling it. And then don't show it to anybody. Oh, well, I won't. 
You never know who's in here, you know. Now, I know that some of you have been waiting for about a year to get into the studio, just like waiting to get into Emerald's restaurant takes about two years. But <laughs> don't worry. One secret. Next time when you come, you say, I am Martin Yen's cousin. <laughs> That'll do it. That would do that it. That will do it. Not only that, 50% discount. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> How you doing over there? Oh, I'm doing well. This is basically done. I'm going to take a tiny my bit beef of here. Oyster flavor sauce. Oyster flavor sauce is very popular among Chinese. Okay? I'm making a sauce here too. Okay. And Look. this basically the you nice showed, and colorful. You showed me this. Yeah, stir. It. Yep. The whole idea is to put in very slowly. Yeah. And move them around. Yeah. And perfect. Is it thick enough? Yeah, yeah. A little bit more. A little more? Oh, you oh sure? perfect, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And then, in the meantime, we'll do the beef. I'm going to add a little soy uh -huh. sauce in there. This chopstick is actually a very good cooking utensil because you can turn what? Yep. Stare. You all right over there? I'm helping you out. I see that. All Very right. good. I gotta, um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the flank steak. You gotta go across the bias like this, folks. You see that? While I'm doing this, I'm gonna show everybody how easy it is to make the sauce. Here, I have some orange juice. Orange juice. Some oyster sauce. Tiny bit of honey. All right. And then, when the beef is almost ready, you put it in. This is really nice. Oh, oh. honey glaze with orange. Oh. And then, how about some, ah, uh, zest. You all right over there? Whoa. Look at I'm this. I'm okay. Look. 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 I'm looking. I'm looking. Look. Oh, beautiful. And then thicken it up. <laughs> Bam, King Cook, too! Oh. Whoa! And then when you stand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, let me help you. Put this all over here. Look at hey, how really colorful. Tasty. This is ne right, nice and colorful. This is delicious. Yes. And then, you taste it already? Yes! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Put it right on top. Here you go. Okay. I brought these special for you. These are wasabi leaves. Wasabi leaf. I'll use it. Okay. We got a little uh, beef dish. He's got a little beef dish. When Martin and I come back, another notch! <laughs> Join us. I'm Martin Yan. I am Amro. Almost life. <laughs> actually, Martin and I, we just finished yeah. the beef protein. Yeah, we I, actually mine is uh, sesame seed orange beef. Very, very easy, very healthy, very easy to do. Quick and easy. I have an Asian flank steak with stir fried vegetables and a shiitake mushroom sauce. A lot of a lot of chefs like to use the flank steak because you can see the grain. Yes. Grain from one direction out, so you can also cut across the grain. You cut across the grain, nice and tender. You cut along the grain, chew your jaws off. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the uh, awesome Food Network kitchen staff now has given us our next protein, and uh, you have 
I mean, it's always never fair. You always have the whole duck. I have a pile of the duck. What am I going to do? I uh, don't know. You know, Chinese love duck. They love Peking duck, roast duck, paper duck, a smoked tea duck. They love duck. A pineapple duck. And I'm going to uh, do a uh, five spice flavored duck. How about you? Well, I don't know yet. You um, don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to uh, stop by uh, piercing the skin. Okay. So and then I might, take a fork you, like this. You, you do that. I score the skin. I score the skin at a 45 degree. 45 degree. And I cross it like this. Ah! I, Don't worry. Oh, I boy. Had a, well, I'm not going to go there, but... So, oh. Martin, this is what I was going to do. I'm going to marinate this duck. Okay. And I have star anise. I have yes. a little bit of mustard seed and cinnamon. Yep. In Chinese, it's called ba go. Ba means egg-pointed. Egg. One, two, three, four. Ba. 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 Ba go means Ba go. Ba go. Ba go. Ba go. I'm going to take the ba go. Yes. And stuff it inside. Stuff it inside here. Because it's very, very like licorice. But it's like licorice. That's exactly right. Very nice. You know, a lot of people, they don't use star anise in this uh, country. Well, actually, they use uh, all over Asia. In Indian, Chinese, and all, all over Asia, they use a lot of You know that Martin is uh, in 50 countries. He is uh, PBS all over the world and Food Network Canada. And... Uh, this is your 28th cookbook? This is my 27th cookbook. Oh, 27. Excuse me. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take brown sugar. 28, because one is yours. You just <laughs> gave me one, so I have 28 books. <laughs> you, ever, you ever do this with coffee? Oh, uh, you know what? This is coffee. Chinese love to use coffee to, to do rib. Yep. Uh, a coffee rib. I did one of the dishes. Okay, what I'm going to do is, while you're marinating, I marinate mine too. <coughs> Tiny bit of salt, five spice powder. Five spice powder is actually star anise, clove, fennel, fennel, and also citron peppercorn, and also a tiny bit of cinnamon. That's what five spice powder is. Uh, uh, Emerald, do you use uh, five spice powder? Yes, I love five spice powder. Have you ever smell used it the cello? Smell it with the camera. Can you smell it? Oh, smells good. Yes. That's smell of vision Yes. Have you ever used this stuff? I love this kind of stuff. Oh, I love it's it. It's a walnut liqueur. You know what? Uh, warm up, that means before you use it, you warm up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why. Look at look, his, his face is red. He warm up himself with two bottles of this cello stuff. <laughs> I'm going to marinate the duck. Prefer <laughs> Preferably overnight, if that's okay with you. And in honor of my good friend Emerald, I'm going to use uh, the Emerald Secret Spices. Yes, yeah. This is good. Okay. Bam! And bam! And bam! It has to taste good. All uh, right. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for that. If you can do it overnight like I have here, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the duck and we're going to roast it. We're going to start the oven 450 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to turn it down to like 350. What do you got to say about that? I said, it's marvelous. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the liquid, and I'm going to start reducing it in a saucepan. Doesn't that smell good, Martin? Just smelling it, you get intoxicated. <laughs> it I didn't get good. that, but, but it's good. All right, look, it's duck. And more duck when Martin and I come back. Stick around. We'll be right back, folks. here, welcome, and this is my good buddy Martin Yan in the house tonight, folks. 
For just joining us, shame on you. We got a brand new book, Martin, quick and easy, and it's dynamite. What recipes in here? Nice photographs, and uh, everybody in the studio audience, thanks to Martin, gets a copy. Oh, you. you know what? I want to remind everybody: study the book. Go through the recipe. By the time you finish, you can open your own Chinese restaurant. Unbelievable. Yes. Speaking of, how's your restaurant doing? Great. Not yeah. as good as yours. Come on. People have to wait for about a week. Yan but yours can wait for about two years, just like you. <laughs> you know what? I just think my duck is almost ready. Okay. Can I can I say something to them while yes, you're yes, checking yes, on that? Yes. 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 That. Uh, Nicello and syrup and stuff. I'm using this as a glaze. I'm mm. cooking this down. So I got it here. Now I'm cooking it down because that's what I'm going to use as a sauce. And with that, I'm going to make, thanks to you, I'm going to make a fried rice. Fried rice. I love fried rice. But I'm going to use some foie gras. In foie my... gras fried rice? Yes. It's the healthiest fried rice you have ever tasted. Yes. Yes, it is! Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna get my duck over there. Go ahead! All right. How's the duck? The duck is already almost burned, but it's ready. <laughs> you know, never touch anything like this. I oh, know, they say cool handles. Yes, yes, it unless... It is cool handles unless... until you put it in the oven. It is cool. In the meantime, I also uh, cut up a tiny bit of cabbage, Napa cabbage. Things like this, Napa cabbage. They never find Napa Valley. <laughs> Put a tiny bit of salt, pickle why, a little bit. Why do you think that is, Martin? Because, you know, people try to confuse people, just like you. Uh-huh. You know, try to confuse me. Ah, fried rice with fragua. It's not only the most expensive, but also the most healthy. Well, we got a big budget on this show. Oh, yes, I love it. They knew you were coming. They said, open up all doors. So immediately, I haven't used foie gras in 18 months. Oh, you know what? You come, here it is. In China, they use chicken liver. This big. Oh. Hey, that would be good, too. And then I put a tiny bit of color into it. So I'm going to cut up this. Set it aside. Nice color. You know, my, one of the most important things about food is appealing, appearance, color, contrast. And this is going to be beautiful. And I put a tiny bit of your spices, a tiny bit of a chive and green onion, and also cilantro. And then a tiny bit of chili, and a tiny bit of rice vinegar. Oh, that's going to be good. A tiny bit of soy. Uh, oh, also a tiny, tiny bit of... Ah, hoisin flavor sauce, H-O-I-S-I-N. Oh, toss it in. So this way, it is nice and healthy, just like a salad, okay? And I put this right over here. Animal, making too much noise. I'm sorry. Distracting me. Oh, boy. You know, you know, kitchen should be should Quiet. be a place. No, no, kitchen should be a place with excitement and energy. Yes. I love it. Now I'm going to take a little cream. Oh, and make that sort of like a cafe au lait kind of thing. Okay. Sounded good, at least. What do you think, Martin? It looks great. Thank you. Perfect. Thank and then you. Then I'm going to grab this. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Nice. The fat is rendered. It should be nice and medium rare. You're wondering about my duck, aren't you? Your duck looks good. Yeah. You roast it for about a... Emerald! Yes! Duck! I said, duck! Duck! Oh, boy. <laughs> this is the first time the Emerald ever listened to his guests. Yes! Now, you, we, 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 we should remind everybody, they should cook the rice ahead of time. Yes. Use one day of rice. This way, when you fry rice, the rice is nice and individual. They don't get them into a complete rice ball. Yes. Martin, you know what? I think most people don't realize that what makes the fried rice brown is the soy sauce. Definitely. If you use dark soy sauce, make it even more brown. Yeah. All right, so my duck. Beautiful, nice and medium rare. Whoa, nice. You don't want to overcook the duck. No. Speaking of that, 
I let mine rest. This is what it looks like after an hour and a half. Yes. How's that? Emerald. Yes. I should have been here yesterday to cook my duck. Yes. If you would have told me, but you were on the airplane. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna line this up. All right, now, line, what am I gonna do next? <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Martin, the duck should rest. Definitely. And then... Take a rest. Do you have any secrets about cutting a duck? Uh, I use a big Chinese chef knife. And would this one work? This one would work. Could you, can you cut me? I will never cut you. Will I'll you cut, cut your duck. duck. Will you cut the duck? I will cut the duck. You're done with your dish? Hey. Right here. And this is, this is a piece of bone. You don't want it. I got to get me one of those cleavers. No, after I finish, this is yours. Really? This is yours. And then you have one half here and one half there, OK? And then we're going to put the fried rice right there. Yep. You see, one half and one half, and this is how you do it. You put this over here, yep. and then you remove this. Yeah. OK? Why? Because this one, you put it on the side. OK. OK? Is it cooperating with you? Oh, yeah, see? Very good. <laughs> and then you go, one, two, oh, three, a four. Ah! <laughs> and then you put this right, right on top, so everybody have one piece. Look how beautiful! Whoa, look at that! And then you go like this. Uh oh. Hey! And then you put this right over here, so you put the whole duck back together. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one you save it for your neighbor. <laughs> okay. And one, two, three, four. And then you put this right on this side. And then we put the sauce. Yes. Like right over. Whoa. Like this that. Is beautiful. With the fried rice. Now there let's is. let's go back to your dish. Look at that. All yes. cut up. Okay. Yeah. Let's cut up. All right. Yeah. You're okay. And then this one is okay. Look at this. Beautiful. Now, in order to make it look nice, what you do is you what use. What do you call on that dish? This is a uh, five spice flavor duck. Okay. With a pickle, napa cabbage. Okay. Yes. And then also. Yes. With a tomato flour. Yes. With your glaze. With my glaze. With your glaze. Here. Right here. Yes, because yours is also five spice powder. Oh. Yep. And then you roll this up, roll this up, roll this up, roll this up. Yeah. And you have a beautiful rose. Oh, right look here. at that. Okay. Beautiful. And your release. Hey, he's got duck. I got duck. And we come All right, back. we both got duck. Come on, let's go. Set it up. Are you having a good time now, folks? Yeah. My lost brother, Martin Yan, in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Identical twin. Identical twin. We are, we are identical. Look at that. DNA Same match. size. Look at yes. that. Yes. Okay. Teeny hands. Teeny hands. But there's a lot of magic in them. A lot you know, of magic. A lot of practice. Now, listen, you were, you're cheating. You, you made another dish? No, actually, what I did is leftover. I used a leftover duck. What I did is I mixed it with a tiny bit of hoisin sauce and a tiny bit of pineapple, and I put it over here. This is a wonderful appetizer. Look at this. Um, you don't want to waste anything. In China, we waste nothing. You see, this is a beautiful appetizer, OK? This is wonderful. Three is a good luck number, so I put three. So we serve you and me and your newborn uh, ch child. Thank you. Yes. That's very kind of you. Yes. You know, the thing about how genuine Martin Yan is, we've been friends a long time, 
during the commercial break, not only is the audience getting a copy of his new book, Quick and Easy, but he's going to go downstairs after the show and sign it for you guys. Unbelievable, huh? Amazing. All right, you ready the to fact, unveil? The fact no. is, I would do anything for you. Oh, man. But All for, right. for Mario Moto, I have to charge him. Are you ready? Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Well, who, who did that? What the heck? What am I going to do with this little thing you should feed about? Oh, you know what? In China, I said, this is with two villages. Look at this. This is not fair. If you need some, let me know. I, I don't need your help. I'm going to check. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I have a bigger piece. <laughs> ah! Look at that. Mine is longer than it yours. It is. It is. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Longer. All right, I got salmon. What are we going to do I with it? I got salmon, too. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to cut the salmon into a, a long strips, little strips like this. Okay. In fact, ah, I cut it. I put it right over here. And ah, I cut it. I, I put it right over here. And then I cut it an angle like this, 45 degree angle. And you're leaving the skin on it? Yes. You want me to leave the skin on mine? Uh, hey, this is your kitchen. You All can right. do whatever you want. <laughs> Fortunately, our finger is short enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm liking we'll this 45 here. degree angle stuff. I'm I think I'm going to make some here. steaks. Yes, let's set it set aside. And then I'm going to salt and pepper it. Three gonna... is a good, good luck number in Asian culture. Four How about five? Is not. Five is not. So we use five three pieces. Nine? Put a tiny bit of salt. What's a good number beside three? Eight, 18, anything but eight. Put a tiny bit of magic. Right. Tiny bit of magic. I'll tell you what, I was going to go there. Just two. Tiny Four. Bit of magic. Six. Eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Good luck number. Now, let me wash my hands. What else and are you going to do over there? I'm going to grill this a little bit. Grill? Yeah. I'm going to pan fry this or grill this. Quick and easy means you can do a lot of things. Now, if you want, you can use a tiny, tiny bit of oil. Okay. Tiny bit of oil, not much. Just a tiny bit of oil. Okay. All right, I'm going to make a little and vinaigrette then. here. Orange juice, lemon juice, crushed pepper. I'm going to do a very unique salmon. Sushi rice bowl. Very healthy. Most of the stuff that I do is very healthy. Hey, look at uh, these physical specimen. Huh? I just turned 85. No. I have not gained one pound in 18 years. No, look. It's very... You look good. You look healthy. I look good, but you look marvelous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Now, this let me tell good. you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pan fry this. Never overcook your fish. Oh, this is beautiful. Sesame oil. Nice and golden brown. Nice and golden brown. And nice and golden brown. Okay? And then in the meantime, you mix some special dressing for your rice. When you cook rice, use one portion of rice to one and a half portion of water. Cook it, reduce it until you have beer hole, cover it until they're all done. Okay? Oh, beautiful. Okay. This is the rice. Martin? Toss it. Yes. You know what I'm going to do? I have no idea. I'm going to take the salmon. Okay. I'm going to dredge it like this in okay. sugar. Okay. It's going to burn it. Yep. Caramel rice. Going to caramelize it. Okay. And then I got a citrus vinaigrette. And then I got to figure out something to do with... I got some cabbage over here. And I put this right over here. I put the rice. Okay. And then... Oh, beautiful. Smelling the sugar in here? Tiny bit of vinegar. 
Wine, Smells good, huh? Rice, vinegar, a tiny bit of sugar, a tiny bit of ginger, toss it in. The rice is still warm. This is the sushi rice, okay? Sake. Mmm, beautiful. And then I put it right here in this beautiful rice bowl. You see here in the new studio. You see up there those boxes, those Whoa. white boxes? Watch this. See, they come on. Yes. You see, it takes all the smoke and dumps it into Manhattan. Whoa! Yeah! Look at that. <laughs> all right, Amazing. I'm going to caramelize this salmon. Look at this, huh? When we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this dish, and Martin will too. Stick around. Very well. <laughs> Inspired tonight. Why? Because Martin Yan is in the house. Because I'm inspired by this man of many talent. You got salmon? I got salmon. You got salmon. I've got salmon. That's what it looks like when you caramelize it, like Martin said. Don't overcook it. Now I gotta get something with that. So I'm gonna work on some cabbage and some bok choy over here. What are you doing? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some basic garnishing. This is a one-man show. Right. I'm doing some simple garnishing here. Now look at this. What I did is I cut into even number of slices and I tuck every other one inside here. Look at this. This is a very popular garnishing in many Asian restaurants. And I put this right over here, okay? And then I have my salmon, which is already beautifully pan fried. And I put one piece, look at how the beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. I put one right over here and one piece. Mmm, this is beautiful. This is a really ni nice, wonderful sushi dish because it's very sushi. easy to do. And then, put this right over here, garnish it. Look at that. Well, what do you uh, call that dish? And then, I'm going to put this right over here in the plate. I'm going to quickly saute a tiny bit of... Yes, asparagus. <laughs> Look how beautiful the dish is. That's real nice. Put a tiny bit of sesame seed. And also have some pickled ginger, pink pickled ginger. Put a tiny bit of wine, tiny bit of pangsu sauce. What? Pansu sauce actually is a, is a lemon soy sauce. It I'm is. gonna put the pansu sauce and serve with my wonderful salmon. Are you sharing salmon. any of that? I'm gonna share with this. Oh. <laughs> no, never, never overcook anything. One of the most detrimental things is about overcooking wow. things. Okay. Flavor with my pansu sauce. Beautiful. <laughs> Never cook, overcook anything. You like that? I love it. Look at that. This is beautiful. When this is nice and done, never, never, particularly asparagus. When this is done, oh, this is going to be great. And then when it's done, we take it out and we cut it up. Look Pansu. at how we look how beautiful. beautiful. Pansu, cook with the pansu sauce. Pansu is a Japanese name. It is. Yes. 
and then I cut this up and I lay this like this. Mm. Oh, come on. Look at this. Nice and colorful. Look at this. Are you going to use the grill? I, you use the grill. Well, I'm going to turn it off because I'm burning up over here. And I, <laughs> and I use my pansu, reduced pansu sauce on my salmon. This is everybody's favorite. Everything we do is quick and easy. Ah, this is beautiful. Huh? All right. Yeah. I got the caramelized salmon. Yes. And I'm putting that over there on the uh, cabbage. And then, and then I'm the going to take the citrus sauce. Put it right on top. Put it right on top Healthy. like that. Healthy, light. You know what? This dish can feed the entire city of Shanghai. 16 million people. <laughs> hey, I want to thank Martin Yan for coming by. Yes, indeed. His new book, Quick and Easy. I'm Emma Lagasse. He's Martin Yan. See you next time.